everyone welcome back to another video odo live chat is considered as a good platform for bringing new leads and opportunities by implementing this module you can offer good support and services to your visitors or customers here you can solve all the doubts and queries of your customer and can give them good support here we can discuss about the functionalities of odo 15 live chat module so we can go to the live chat module so this is the home dashboard window of the module and here we can view the live chat channel that are created before so here we can see the name of the website channel number of operators number of sessions and here we can see the percentage of happy ratings and the leave or join button so currently the window is in the kanban view and here we have the filters group by and the favorite options so if you want to create a live chat for your channel you can go to the website module and then to the configuration settings here we can search the live chat so here in the website section we can see the uh, live chat and here it is possible to create uh, or set a new channel for your website so here we can see a website is already created and by clicking on the external link you can view all the details about the website live channel so we can go back to the live chat module Now we can create a new website a live chat channel for that click on the create icon and in this form you can mention the name of the channel. We can create a demo website. And under the operator tab we can add number of operators so by clicking on the add icon a window will appear and from this we can choose the operators so here in the option tab we have the option to design the live chat button and the live chat window so in the live chat button section we can provide the text of the button so here we have have a question uh, chat with us so like this we can provide uh, any text of button and here we can choose the live chat button color so by clicking on it we can choose the color from here likewise in the live chat window we can provide the welcome message so here it is given how may i help you so likewise we can create new uh, welcome messages and here we can set the chat input placeholder so it is the text that prompt the user to initiate the chat and here we can set the channel header color so from here we can uh, change the uh, channel header color and when we comes to the channel rules uh, this tab allows to define various uh, rules for your live support channel and this enable the user to uh, restrict the chan uh, chat to selected countries only so if the responsible person of your firm is not familiar with a language a text box can be kept hidden for the web viewers from that particular country so if you want to apply an action just click on the add a line and a window will appear so here we can choose the action as display the button so it displays the button on the pages and while choosing the auto pop-up it displays the button and automatically open the conversation panel so here we can set the auto pop-up timer in seconds so while choosing the hide the button that uh, will hide the chat button on the pages and here we have the url uh, rejects it is helpful for describing the regular expressions specifying the web pages that the rule will be applied on 
so here we can set the url and here we have the country so in this field we can mention where you want to apply the rule and here we have the widget tab so in order to configure your widget you have to see the details first so it include the code and url and also it describes how to use the website live chat widget and it is possible to copy paste the url to the website and here we have the direct access to publish the live chat channel to the website so if you want to publish the channel it can go to the website and here we have the option to publish it and here we can see the operators now let's come back So here we can see the newly created website. Now we can go to the configuration and here we have the canned responses. So it is the pre-configured responses for the common queries of your website uh, visitors and it is very helpful to save more productive time and human effort. So here we can see the shortcut and the substitution. So likewise, we can create new canned responses by clicking on the create icon. So here we can provide a shortcut Docu documents, document and here in the substitution section, I can Now we can save this so this is the newly created shortcut and the substitution now let's come to the visitors so here we can see the uh, name of uh, visitors and their last action number of visit and here we can see the last page uh, number of visited pages and here we can see the number of leads or opportunities and number of chat and here we can see the sms and email icon so while clicking on it we can uh, we can send a sms likewise we can send the email by clicking on the icon so here we can provide the recipient's name subject and here we can provide the note and it is possible to attach a file and also we can set the template so the winter can be viewed uh, in the Kanban view, list view and also in the graph view. And here we have the customizable features like filters, group by and favorite. So from here we can choose any filters, group by options. Now let's move on to the reporting section of live chat and here we have dashboard session history, session statistics, uh, operator analysis and customer ratings. So first we can go to the dashboard. So here we can see our uh, channel. This is our channel. And here we can choose different measures like number of speakers, average uh, duration, average message, conversation, days of activities and so on. And here we have the group by options like code, channel, operators, uh, creation date in hours and creation date in year, quarter, month, week and day. And here we can view according to bar chart, line chart, pie chart and also we can sort it according to descending and ascending way. So here we can see the number of sections. Uh, sessions per day, number of operators and here we can see the number of sessions uh, or 
operators and can see the percentage happy percentage and can see the number of anonymous number of answers in percentage and here we can see the satisfaction happy and unhappy and also here we have the pivot details here also we can choose different measures and it is possible to insert it in the spreadsheet now let's comes to the session history so here it gives all the report of all the sections created in the live chat module so here we can see the session date attendees messages and here we can see the ratings and here we have the filtering and group by options now let's comes to the session statistics and here it gives all the session reports in both graph and pivot view so here we can view according to bar chart a line chart pie chart and also sort it according to the descending and ascending way now let's move on to the operator analysis here it allows to generate reports of live chat based on live chat operators so here it can be viewed in the graph and pivot now let's comes to the customer ratings so here it allows to record all the responses received from the website visitors according to the interaction between company representative and visitors so here can be the winter according to kanban view list view pivot view and also in the graph view so when we comes to the list view we can see the details like submitted on uh, rated operator customer's name parent document name resource name and also we can see the rating so the ratings will be satisfied or dissatisfied and here we can choose various filters group by and favorite options so using the live chat module is considered as the quickest and most efficient strategy for customer interaction so this is a unique and perfect way to enhance your customer services so that's all about the video thank you for watching Thank you.